Hello, boys and girls. It's your old pal, Stinky Multiverse. This is a song about a quail. No! This is a song about FNAF. Okay, I don't know why I wanted to do that, but I did. It sounded funnier in my head, but it's not. Got your attention, though. So, yes, we're, f we're actually going to talk about something that people have uh, wanted and prayed to the animatronic gods and play and like sacrificed on the altar of Scott Clawthorn. Yes, it is finally happening. We are getting FNAF in Dead by Daylight. I have seen for de for years, for fucking years. Like everyone has said, like what's it, like what's um what's someone you who who did you want to see collab with Dead by Daylight the most? And they're like, oh oh FNAF, FNAF, totally. Like everyone. And specifically one killer who I think it will be, but you never know. So, yeah, FNAF, I'm not the biggest FNAF guy. I was definitely not a big fan of the FNAF movie. Um, but I've never hated the fandom. It's out there, I'll say that. You're not Sonic fandom, but you are. You skirt that line pretty well. Um, <laughs> um, so, yes, it was going to be teased that they were going to do a collab for uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary, and a lot of people thought it was going to be Fortnite. And I'm not saying it's still there's still not a chance of that happening. There's probably a good chance that uh, for, Fortnite's had everyone. FNAF is just on the in the uh, is just next on the road at some point. But Dead by Daylight f thematically makes more sense, and it makes more. Um, it's more appeasing. Although I have seen a lot of people complain like, Why wasn't Freddy Fazbear in Fortnite? Kids, I tell ya. No respect. So desensitized by movies and television. I did another movie reference right there. Anyway, so I think everyone has uh, is pretty happy with it. Now, to, uh, now we ask the big question of, Which killer is it gonna be? Like, I think there's only really... There's a multitude of, 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 like, robots and animatronics you can use for Five Nights at Freddy's. But there's really only two that come to mind and really make the most sense to represent um, the fandom. Uh, or represent, you know, the franchise on a whole. And that is Freddy Fazbear and Springtrap. If you go with anyone else, if you go with anyone else, it is just like, why fucking do it to begin with? If you went like, if you went with like Foxy, or, and Foxy's got a fandom. Don't get me wrong, um, Foxy's a popular character. But you know how much like people have been wanting, like you know how many videos I've seen online of people like demanding Springtrap in Dead by Daylight. Like if it's not Springtrap, it has to be. Fr it has to be either or. The two biggest fan faces of your franchise. It has to be either one of them. You cannot fuck this up by doing, like, and not to discredit, like, the other ones, but, like, it would be kind of a missed opportunity. And you could say, oh, they could come back and do it again. I mean, that's what they did with Resident Evil. They brought them back and, and had Wesker as a killer and had brought in Ada Wong, too, after doing Nemesis. And there's talk of them, you know, collabing again with Resident Evil and doing Mr. Uh, Mr. X in the future. And there's all good and, good and well of that, but you don't know if that's going to happen. You know, we've been lucky with Capcom being nice about it, but who knows if Scott Clawthorn would be open to the idea of doing it. And the reason why I bring this up, even though I'm not a FNAF fan, I'm looking at, at the perspective of this is something that people have wanted for the longest time. And you want to know what else? I've done so many videos talking about that and I've I stopped doing videos on you know killers being you know crossover killers for Dead by Daylight. But you want to know, you really want to know what bo like. There's no excuse anymore for anyone else. There is no more fucking excuses for any other ca characters to show up in Dead by. Oh, no, I'm serious. There is no more excuses unless it's a rights issue for facial expressions or you have to get rights from a actor whose face is seen. I have. No fucking clue why you can't get the following. Why haven't they done Candyman yet? There's no excuse for that. No excuse. I think Art the Clown. I, I take this back. I do think we will get Art the Clown in the near future. I guarantee you that they're t at least talking about it for Art the, Art the Clown being in Dead by Daylight. I 
think there may be a future collab. I I'm gonna say like there's a 50-50 shot that Art the Clown would be the next killer in Dead Dead by Daylight because his movie's coming out. He's gotten very popular, very fast. So I w so I think of uh, like I think Art the Clown has a the best shot to be here. So yeah, Art. So there's no excuse for Victor Crowley not being here anymore. Leprechaun, Pumpkinhead, everyone. Everyone is on the table now. And if we're talking about like other indie horror characters showing up, I you have no like Bendy. I think is going to be at some point in this game now. Now that you've opened the door to FNAF, Bendy's on the list. Um, fucking Huggy Wuggy from what that game? I just remember the name Huggy Wuggy. Um, the the toy one. Uh, fuck. You know what I'm talking about. But I guarantee you, Huggy Wuggy's probably going to be on that list, too. So there's no more... Like, the door... If you didn't think the doors on the uh, on the Dead by Daylight list were closed... No, that door is kicked open, and now it's been kicked open even more. Hell, I would not be shocked if, like... Like, um... You know, for future... Like, Jason's probably now on the table, now that the Jason game is gone, rest in peace. But, yeah, with this whole rights issue dealt with, Jason's probably up... Uh, is probably in talks. Um, I would even say, like... You know... But again, there's so... Uh, I, we can't use the clowns, unfortunately, from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, because they got their own game. But there's really no excuse now for any... Uh, like, oh, you can't put him in here because he's dumb. You just put the fucking robots from from Five Nights at Freddy's. Anyone can come in now. Like, there was a whole list I remember of them asking, like, anime, um, fucking movies. One of them was the, uh, um, Jurassic Park, and I was like, you have to do either the, the Dilophosaurus or the or the big one, the the Alpha Raptor from Jurassic, the first Jurassic Park movie. So you have to do him. You have to, or her. It, they they kind of switch the genders with the raptors, but ugh, that's I'm getting into semantics. So you got to do one of those two if you're doing Jurassic Park. And I do think we'll probably get a Jurassic. We may get a Jurassic Park collab to celebrate Dra JP Survivor as well as the upcoming new Jurassic World game. So I wouldn't put it past them not to do that. Um. Also, how about the fucking Universal Monsters? When are you gonna do them? Dead by Daylight. Like really. You have no excuse now not to do them. I actually believe... I'm, and the reason why is because I put up movie posters. That's been my new project in in my uh, room. Um, of putting up movie posters. Here, 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 here. No, no, no. I'll look. Let me, let me show you. You see all that? That's Nosferatu. That's Creature from the Black Lagoon. So, um, there's, there's no more fucking excuses for no one not to be in here. You really... Do not have a single fucking excuse anymore. Not to... Unless it's like... Now, with some... Again, Tony Todd, maybe that's why they haven't done Candyman yet. But, um... For others... Like fucking, um... Well, Tall Man is one I think might be a problem. Because, again, you might have to get the Angus Scrim estate. So that's my, that might be a problem. Um... But aside from that... There's no excuse for anyone else not to be here anymore. Because now you have kicked the doors open even wider. So, yeah. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think of um, fucking FNAF finally being in here? Do you want it to be Freddy Fazbear? Do you think it should be Springtrap as the killer? Or who are you... Like, who would you pick? I'm, I'm asking because I know I got some major FNAF fans in my, in my uh, subscribers... So I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.